Disclaimer, this video may contain content that may be inappropriate for children under the age of 16, may contain some strong languages as well. Viewer discretion is advised. Please do not harass the individuals that are mentioned in this video. This video is made as a form of criticism. The name is Velvet Crow, and you're watching my friend Enox series. Enjoy, or I will devour you. Hello everyone, this is Dinox series speaking once again, or should I say DXX Archive. Yes, that's my account, so I'm not hiding the fact anymore. I'm going to be transparent with you guys going forward. Here is me right now in 2022 recording this video. So, if you saw my previous long podcast that I did of showing all the screenshots and evidence against Void and exposing his lies and what he did to us and the servers and all that stuff to show that he's not as good as a person as you guys think. You know, like I said, if I left anything else in this whole video, let me know in the comment section below or in the live chat if you see it. And we'll discuss and see what we can do about that. I'll be as transparent as possible, but I don't trust people like I used to because of this situation. And now, in this video, I'm going to be commentating on his latest video against my Magbo Gaming channel. And I wanted to commentate on what he said wrong or if there's anything I need to add to it and stuff like that. This is transformative. This is under fair use because I'm doing a commentary. So if you go and say that I'm trying to steal your video or anything, that's not going to work with me. So I'm pretty sure you guys know that already. So here it is. Yes, he's playing JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, so here's the commentary. Ignoring things will make them go away. It only makes it harder to face them when they finally come around. Well, I'll give you this. That's why I'm confronting this right now. Because I have to address a lot of the things that's been said about me. Because if I don't say my side of the story at this point, like they're just gonna keep talking crap and crap and like I could ignore it and stuff yeah people won't know about it but if it comes to a situation that people go to them and then they tell me to address the stuff then it's not gonna look good on me so it's good to confront them now before it gets worse right that is a quote that I believe it applies well to the person I'll be talking about Magbo Gaming the quote unquote new YouTuber talking about video games and yeah I'll give you that I'm not a new YouTuber I've been doing YouTube since 2008 Macro <clears throat> Gaming is just a channel I created because I no longer have Dinox series I deleted that account back in February the DXX archive channel is, is mostly my old videos archive and this thing and stuff about my Dinox brand in general which obviously is not in a good position right now and Red Star is just, you know, me being a shy guy in the mask. So I admit all those are me. Magbo Gaming is basically my channel focusing solely on game collecting and the community itself. And my new community that I have that enjoys my contest as well. So Magbo Gaming is like my new, it's my rebranding of my videos. But focusing mostly on game collecting because that's what I noticed I enjoy doing the balls but nothing personal anymore I'm not trying to say nothing personal about myself in that channel whatsoever if I say stuff that are personal to me it's gonna be in this channel DXX archive because that's more like my blog channel and my archival channel of my old videos mostly but maybe once in a while like right now I'm gonna make new videos about myself about who I really am I guess and stuff like that bragging about how much of a collector he is to some well I do show my collection and stuff but like I'm not trying to brag because I want to say oh I have it you don't know it's because well I love showing people what I have and flexing them and maybe people will get inspired to have this game or maybe they see a game that I don't have so that's what's going on us, it's no surprise who he is but I want people to know who he really is who I really am. Okay, let's hear it. 
Didn't see uh, believes making a new YouTube channel means a clean. By the way, voice shy guy is right next to uh, me there, really so you know. I don't want to waste time editing a video because he has a PNG of himself. To and by the way, it's fair use, so it's transformative. Like I'm using it in editing and stuff, so that's why I have your face there. I mean, you use my PNGs. Arbiter use your PNGs. Arbiter use Chinjay's PNGs on his video. I guess they have consent, but. The thing is, you didn't have my consent to use MacBook, but I, I allow it. If I go in circles so, yeah. Time. And besides, the PNG is not mine. I just got it. I just put on sunglasses. I, I do admit that. Uh, MacBook Gaming is a man named Hector Vera who... But I edited it. I transformed it a little bit, himself, at least. And wants people to accept him, like him, and adore him. Sadly for him, his 50 minutes of fame have already passed years ago. I was never really famous, honestly. Sure, I had some videos that had like thousands and thousands of views, but that doesn't mean I'm famous, actually. He has gone by so many names that it's uh, it's a little hard to keep up. He's gone by Dinox Coon, Dinox Series, Red Curbs, Red true, Star Shy Guy, true. Lucon, Lusar Dogs, and now Meta Curb in Discord. Yes, I'm Meta Curbs in Discord only in the voice acting server, by the way. Yes, I go by many aliases. Part of the reason is because I want to rebrand myself. I want to have a new name because of what happened. I could admit that. But on Discord, my main name is Red Curbs. Like Red Kirby. I love Red Kirby. You know that. But for Lucon and Lizardog, Lizardog was to be a different identity to get away from you, Voice Shy Guy, because we didn't want nothing to do with you. As for Lucon, that was my role place persona. Lucon, Nixie Sakio, you know, all those other Nexogen X. Yeah, you know all those names already, so that's why I'm saying it here right now. Like, you know, all the alias are roleplay names and stuff because I separate roleplay from real life. I don't want to get mixed my brand, but when I did, that's when people started finding out about it. So, you know, that's what happened. Huh. Meta, you say. It's a little funny, but uh, I'll bring that up later. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, you're gonna find out why he says Meta you say and stuff. But Meta Curve's name, I actually got it because my voice acting server username was originally Meta Veek VA Hunter. And I still have it as that name in my original account, but I have a, another account which I use more now. And that's Meta Curbs. I just think it sounded cool. Like Meta, not because of the girl Meta Chan, no. It's because, you know, the whole metaverse and all that stuff and that I'm a fan of investing in cryptocurrency and, and the metaverse, I guess. But yeah, that's why it's called Metacurbs, pretty much. Uh, usually, people online make a name and stick with it. Of course, there's a reason for all these name changes. It's true. If I didn't get caught doing what I'm doing, I would have still kept the Dinox series today. But then again, there was a time I kind of did want to rebrand myself regardless. Because I wanted to be known as someone who's a game collector rather than just someone who just posts anything and everything and then it divides my audience quite a bit, I guess. So I was originally going to plan to rebrand myself at some point, but now I had a good reason to do it because, like, I hate drama. We all hate drama, right? We're trying to escape drama. And after I say everything I need to say here, I don't want, not want nothing to do with the situation whatsoever anymore. You guys can make your videos and stuff. I'll probably be watching, but I'm not going to be participating in your stuff. You can say whatever, but I'm not going to say nothing anymore. This man has so many skeletons in his closet that you think he lives think my... above Paris or catacombs oh. or something. Uh, he's been caught sexually role-playing with minors. Taking lewd pictures without consent. Can you explain me why you state that I did the lewd pictures without consent? I don't think I ever recall doing that. If you're talking about the cosplay photo shoot things that I used to do in conventions in Puerto Rico and maybe some in Texas, in Kamehameha, come, but I barely do it in Texas to be honest. I barely I only act like one or two girls and that's it. And there were adults already, by the way. If that was what you mean by that, taking without consent, I always ask for their consent. I always let them know, can I take this picture, can I take that, and all that stuff. Throwing his friends, or should I say now ex-friends, under the bus. You know, there's a reason why some of the former friends of mine, I didn't throw them under the bus, actually, to be honest. A lot of them, they blocked me, they cut ties with me. 
and I didn't want to cut ties with these people, like some of the people that you were claiming to be. Or I do admit that with certain people, I was hiding a few things from them because like I didn't want to get in conflict with them and stuff like that, but I wasn't trying to throw them across the bus. A lot of people would betray me. I'm gonna stand firm with that, that a lot of people betray me. I explained the reason on the main video, what's going on with that and like it part of it is my fault, but not everything is my fault. Mentally scarring minors, then throwing them away like yesterday's trash, among other Okay, I already explained in that other video what type of role plays I was involved with and apologizing to them. So I'm not going to get too much into detail in this video because you could just check the other video. It explains everything. And I'm pretty sure you guys are going to investigate everything on this whole thing. Other things and he always gets away with it. If I had to compare him to anyone, it would be a YouTuber by the name of Cosmador. To be honest, I did actually watch some of the videos from Cosmodor's allegations and all that stuff. He did actually try to amend his sins and admit everything and stuff like that. But the sad thing about it, that after he confessed his sins and that he owned up, people didn't believe him. And the same thing I'm expecting that most of these people that are against me right now are not going to believe me or they're going to think I'm making excuses and stuff. At this point, it's like, compared to him, yeah, I'm not a popular YouTuber, so there's a lot of people out there that doesn't know about me. Too many people, like more than 99% of the people in this world don't know about me still. Uh, he used to be a YouTuber who would review cartoons. I don't really watch his videos, but yeah. And people told him but to I, I, I heard of this controversy, and he's definitely dating a minor... At that age, I think it was 15 years old, it definitely doesn't look good whatsoever. Especially if it's below age of consent because it's different in different countries. Like 16 to 18 is usually the standard for our, uh, the United States. We know they're from other countries and stuff, but yeah. Of course, he tried to come back saying it's all in the past. But these idiots don't understand that things like these don't just get forgiven, put under the rug, and life continues on like nothing ever happened. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of people that are never going to forgive you for after being exposed of what happened. But like I said in the last part, everyone has a chance of redemption. If this guy is really serious and changing himself and he regrets everything that he did and admits to it in public or to God, like I'm willing to forgive anyone that's really serious in changing. Like if it's someone that actually doesn't change and, and really intentionally wants to harm people and all that stuff, yeah, I don't support that. It's wrong and this guy needs to put in his place, but for someone that commits all these mistakes for a while and then suddenly now he wants to make amends and he actually does it. Yeah, and I'm trying to improve myself, but you know, it's been taking me a while, I'll admit that. Because like, the drama hasn't left my mind in quite a while. But I already explained it in the other video too. The difference here is that Magbo never was or will be Testing. a popular okay. YouTuber for many reasons. So the backlash is never as big True. as consistent. True. Granted, he hasn't dated a minor yet. True. I never dated a minor. I never will. Oh, yeah. And just because I said that 16, 17 year old is um, age of consent here in Puerto Rico and many states in the United States, doesn't mean I'm actually trying to date a 16 and 17 year old. I'm hoping to date someone in their 20s or 30s. So it's just letting you know about that. Yeah, I know you probably think, oh, he's just covering up and, and he's making excuses. Fine, believe what you want, but I stay firm believing this is for me. I'm sticking with my testimony here. So he gets his kicks by doing sexual role playing with minors. Never intended to be sexual in the first place, but when the whole foot fetish thing comes into place, it's hard to argue with that. But never meant to bring harm to them tainting their minds with his disgusting fetishes and I'm not trying to like taint their minds though or worse slaves not only that but like I said in the last video this whole slave thing is a fantasy of minds and I'm not trying to do it to people in real life against their wills I would never do that like if it's an adult and she wants to play that part it's between us that never happened and I'm not going to reveal that it's a secret for a reason he has also used uh dry humping in his role playings though he said I'm not gonna explain that here because I explained it in the other video I explained it in detail there I'm not gonna go over it again it's, it's, it 
though he says it's not, you know, sexual of nature and what, PG-13? So, uh, Magbo, since I know you're watching this. Yeah, I am watching. Experiment, experiment, shall we? Uh, go to Google, type dry humping, and tell me what are the top five, you know what, no, the, the top three sites that appear, and tell me it's not sexual in nature. I, I dare you. But anyways, let's talk about his last two victims that have been public knowledge. First, let's start with Meta Chan. Remember his new name from Discord? I can't yeah, tell you it's, uh, see, it's a... he revealed her name. A minor's well, it's not her actual name, but he revealed her name in the video. So well, yeah, sick joke or not? But uh, he says he doesn't role play anymore. Which we know it's a lie since he tried role playing with Meta here. I would explain this in the other video, but yes, it did happen a month after. You know, when I was exposed for Ilala, it did happen. That's something he does a lot. He lies consistently. I just try not to say anything about it. I don't try to, like, go against it, but, you know, my alts, you know, I try to act like different people as well. But I'll be back to that later. He roleplayed with Meta, putting on her a slave collar and chains and... Did you really have to get in detail on what type of roleplay it is? Without even showing evidence? Barefeeted? Is that how you say it? Barefeeted? You, I'm pretty sure you have the evidence, uh, but you know... It made her walk so much so that she would get sweaty. I mean, if this hurts you... It hurts me more just talking about it, honestly. Yeah, it is immoral. I mean, I'm not gonna argue there. Yeah, they didn't even say her age, by the way. So, I did say that she was 16 years old. Uh, not only that, but used he used her to spy on people, more specifically. I used her, right? That's what he's going by. And yet, in the last video, I did say that he added her first. And then she came to me saying that she was talking with you, Void, right? So I have a reason why this happened. And I didn't want to use her. But I was asking her if she could send me a screenshot of what Void says to you. Because she was talking to Void before I even considered doing that, to be honest. So that's what really happened. So uh, this was back when he was Red Star Shy Guy and not... Magbo. To be honest, I was in between Red Star Shy Guy and Magbo. I wasn't uploading any more content in Red Star by June. And that happened in June, by the way. June 2022. So I was like transitioning out of Red Star, technically. Because I explained what else I'm going to do with Red Star in the future. Or I may come back to it at some point. But for now, I'm just giving a break from it. And transfer to Magbo Gaming, which that's my current alias. You know, starting a... Um, a new channel with a new community not trying to get into any of the past dramas from my previous community if you know what I mean the only ones from my previous community I share my MacBook gaming at the time before you found out about it was my closest friends I still trusted very well other than that I'm not trying to get into your drama with MacBook gaming but you guys just want to tag MacBook gaming try to involve my brand even thought the drama happened before I even made the accounts. But in the Red Star one, I explained it in the other video too. Now, this next victim, I'll be more a little more careful. I'll use the name he gave her to quote unquote censor her as a okay. We're back. Family life, a rough. Well, yeah, I do agree with you, Void. She does have a rough family life. A rough school life but as far as I know I think she had more of a rough school life that she told me about and she had trouble making friends in school people bullied her they took advantage of her I guess and they told her that you should listen to what they say so they could be with the cool kids that they're not her real friends and stuff but she wanted friends and stuff like that and I told her you shouldn't let them control her this way. I did told her that, you know, you need to find friends that really appreciate who you are and, you know, really understand you and stuff like that. And it wasn't just me that saying that, but a few other friends of mine wanted to 
let her know that we're there for her and stuff like that. We weren't trying to take advantage of her just because I roleplay her. You don't know the full story, Void, unless you have access to every single screenshot that I did with her in every single one of the accounts, but you only point out the roleplay stuff I did with her and not the good stuff I tried to advise her or trying to... You get the idea. School life has barely any friends and is going through depression. Now, I mm -hmm. personally have gone through depression and try to, uh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, game end. So, I want you guys to know how angry I am to know that while he Okay, first of all, Void, I agree with everything you said about her having a rough life and school life and all that stuff. But if you're gonna paint yourself being the good guy and me only caring about her because of the RP thing, then you got another thing coming. I actually did care for this girl too. But as a sister thing. That well, online sister thing. This, like another one I have. He used to do his sick role plays with her. And get her, and get her tangle up on his problems. And like I said in the other video. I shouldn't have role play with this girl. She said she enjoyed it and all that stuff. But it's no excuse. She was a minor. He shouldn't have went too far with this whole thing. And it's all on me there. But at the same time like. When you said that. She thinks that I'm taking advantage of her and stuff like that. I wasn't trying to do any of that stuff to her. He made her do uh, a new Discord and hit her away from everyone. Uh, just for him and his friend, uh, Nagelfar, to, uh, to roleplay with her. This girl needed friends, not to be fat material for this living trash of a man. Yes, yeah, she needed friends. But fat material? Are you serious? What does that even mean? Fat material? I wasn't looking at her in that type of way. Come on, man. Like, yes, we did the role plays and all that stuff, but I wasn't thinking, I wasn't using her for that or I want to take advantage of her or anything like that. Like, people are twisting the words to a point. Like, we, we cared for this girl. We wanted her to make friends. But we didn't want her to associate with you people bringing up drama and all that stuff. I didn't want her to be involved in the drama. But she actually wanted to defend me in some ways. And that's why she was trying to call out to you guys as well at that time. It's just like I explained in the Lala video. You guys are going to her DMs and saying to stay away from me and stuff because I may do something bad to her. When in reality, she did not want it to be approached by you guys. By all you guys that are trying to say bad things about me and, and my friends as well. And that's the thing. Like I don't know what happened in the very end, but we're going to get to that soon. They did stop talking, but after going to a... Yeah, we stopped talking for like two months or so. Jinnessa stream to say he doesn't talk to her anymore. He tried to get her to talk to him again. And that's what I'm saying. Like, how did you find out about that? Did, did you talk with this with her or something? I don't know if she trusts you. Because I told everyone in my community not to trust Void at all. And literally anybody else that are on his side, you know. I didn't tell my community about most of the anti doxer but I told mostly about Void. But yes, what's going on there? I wish I could say I was surprised, but honestly I saw it coming. His father got told of what he was doing with this and Lala. Uh oh, I'm not going to commentate on that. I'm not going to commentate on that. The girl, and got scolded, but not scolded enough it seems. That's personal, you shouldn't even talk about that here. And if you talk about it, I'm not going to be involved with that. You should you talk whatever you want, but I'm not going to say nothing about that. I'm respecting my family's privacy at this point. He took his door down and, well, I'll be hilarious. Okay, I'll admit to one thing. Yep, I got my door back. Things are going fine with me and my family. That's all I'm going to say. So, that's all you have to know and that's... That's what I'm gonna say. You get your nose out of my family matter. I know I'm to blame for saying what I shouldn't have said, but I'm not gonna do it anymore. It did nothing in the long run. During this, he told Ilala to make a new Discord, and he had his own private little role playing Discord, uh, Discord server, where he had his friends role playing with. Okay, let me explain this. Yes, I did tell her to make new accounts, but that's because we thought at the time that she was hacked by somebody. 
And of course, like if I were to give someone an advice, if someone compromised someone's accounts, yeah, make a new account that they don't know about so they don't go and try to hack you or try to harass you or try to find you. I changed my names too on Discord because I don't want you guys trying to get into my business. I even set the privacy settings to not anyone can just add me anymore to the point because there are random people trying to add me. It could have had to say to this girl, to this poor girl. I didn't want her to get involved with you guys because you guys are just going to twist my words around and she's going to get upset. You got her upset. And that's the truth there. And I proved it in another video. You can't just try to escape your wrongdoings and putting it all on me because it's not all my fault. I try to get her away from you guys because you guys are trying to convince her that I'm a bad person. I do admit that I shouldn't have role played with her like that. Yeah, I don't know what's going on now, and I wish the best for her. With this minor. While this was going on, he was lying to his father about not being in contact with her. Or I am not going to commentate on that. No, no comments there. With any minors in general. And to just get people off his back... He At this point, Void, stop getting into my family business because you're not welcome in, my, in this discussion. If you dare sh put that part three of showing my family member, I'm gonna take it down. He went to a psychiatrist to waste his father's money, apparently. Si okay, that's a lie. That is a big lie. Whoever told you that is a liar because I use my own money to pay for a psychiatrist and I go monthly there. Another thing is, is that now my health plan actually pays for it, but I don't leech my parents for anything. I prefer to buy things on my own. I prefer to get things because I work hard for it. Not because, oh, I'm leeching and stuff. Screw you. You don't know what I'm going through with my family marriage. Go screw yourself, Void. Since he kept the full truth from them, and even then, they told him not to get involved with minors, and, well, we know how that's going, right? Anything is... No, I'm not going to explain anything that's related to family here. It's I'm legal. sorry. As long as you aren't caught, right, Magbo? Now, after all the drama with Red Star, he did what he's done time and time again. Uh, hide for a while till everything calms down, then appear again, hoping this time Excuse he can have his shot in YouTube stardom, all while playing with minors. And yeah, I took a hiatus because this whole situation with Void. And Arbiter really took a toll on my mental health. And everything that I went through during that time, I do not wish it on anybody. Let's just put it that way. It was bad. Let's just put it that way. So I needed time off the internet. At least off of YouTube and off of the public settings. So I didn't upload anything for a while in the DXX archive. I didn't upload nothing on Red Star after like the early May or something like that. And I literally didn't upload any videos except for maybe Mickey Dai Lala video. But once I was done with that, I took a couple months off actually doing anything on YouTube. Maybe I comment on YouTube. I Yes, I watch YouTube videos and stuff. Just want to be clear. But I wasn't being involved. I wasn't being engaged with any of these people. I was completely off all the way until late August to early September. When I got, came back as MacBook Gaming, I made videos as MacBook Gaming when I was in New York City. Yep, I was in New York City for a week, and I used my own money. I still had money. I just want to clarify that yes, while I was not active in the public settings between May to August, I unfortunately was still kind of in contact with Meta that I had contact with Void, plus I visited the fake anti-Noxer servers around June, and that's how Void stole my video via Meta's account. Yes, that's what's really going on. But after early July, I managed to get rid of Void from my server. So after that, I completely was away from these guys. I was not interacting with them at all after like around July, early July. So I just want to be clear, but as a public settings go or me uploading video between mid-May to mid-August, I was not uploading whatsoever until like around August or so. So I just want to be clear about that. To go to that trip. I did not leech anybody to go to a trip. If I, if I can't afford to travel, I don't travel. 
simple set and done you can say what you want there i'm not going to explain any personal stuff about me to you guys anymore besides what you already know and at this point like it doesn't matter the background of course i knew he was going to do this since he is as readable and punishable in life as he is in video games now he's using For real? the Magbo persona to do the same videos he always does with no changes whatsoever. It has the same. Well, no changes whatsoever. That's not fully true. Even though the style is still similar to Dinox series, but there are a few differences, minor differences that I put at least. But yeah, given that, it's similar to Dinox series, but that's the type of videos I've always grown accustomed to to making. Name, press start font actually it's not a press start font it's actually a press red and blue font you know the fonts that you get from Pokemon red and blue I use that a lot more now in the fonts and I added a new sound effect with those fonts as well so it's a little bit different maybe it has the same style in some ways but it's a little bit different a little bit different approach from Dinox series RPG maker sound effects yeah, I still kind of use RPG sound effects of the punching. Pow. You get the idea. <coughs> that sound effect. Yeah, that's what he's talking bad about. Bad editing and just... Bad editing. Can you explain what part of the editing is bad exactly? Can you give me a little construction criticism? Because all you say is bad editing, but it doesn't help much to help someone improve. Flexing his collection for clout. I am not trying to see clout. I just like to show off to my collection to whoever are into game collecting as well to see. And of course, you know, I'm going to tell them if you like this video, like my videos, subscribe, comment to help the YouTube algorithm to show this video to more people. Like, I'm naturally going to do it as a YouTuber, of course. Like, it shouldn't even matter. But the, the fact that I just want clout and stuff like that is not completely true. Since he refuses to get a job, he is in desperate need for money. I am job hunting actually I am actually job hunting a couple times a week I've been sending resumes around so I am actually looking for a job that's all you need to know so now he's become a reseller yeah I am a reseller but look what he says next he claims to be a collector first reseller second but I uh, I disagree he tell me why exactly I am a collector look at all the games behind me and I only resell games if it's a game that I'm not really that fond of and I think I could flip it. Or if the game I already have is underpriced and I could flip it for market value. And I'm going to get to that more soon because he's going to say something else about that. He has been that. following his now hero, Phoenix Reseller, <laughs> to learn the ins and outs on how to destroy Yeah, he's going to bring one of my favorite YouTubers, Phoenix Resell, into this now. The gaming ecosystem by inflating prices and just inflating prices that's a big fat lie there because like for example of course you know phoenix resell um, buys things under price and he asks for deals there's nothing wrong with that and then you're gonna put it at market value like prices competitive prices that people ask for and people are willing to spend money for a specific item phoenix resell doesn't try to inflate prices just so he can make money like he doesn't go and scalp certain items that are at retail price and make it a lot more expensive like a PS5. And the same goes for me as well. I'm not trying to do the same thing as well. So I decided to ask Phoenix Resell in one of his members exclusive live streams that he did about what he thinks about him inflating the market and stuff. And this is what he has to say indirectly towards, you know, you void. What do you think of people saying that resellers are ruining the video game market? Someone I know is an enemy of mine says you taught me to inflate the video game market and ecosystem. <laughs> I think that um, the people in this discord understand economics for the most part, like the basics of economics and know what a uninformed point of view that is. If you understand supply and, and demand, you know that suppliers in a, a competitive market like the one that we're selling in sellers are incapable of setting prices buyers set prices and in fact the more copies of games that are available 
in a competitive marketplace like eBay or Amazon or whatnot, the further prices will go down, not up. So the reason that retro game prices have risen so much is because of rising demand, not because there are more resellers flipping stuff. That can only help online prices. Now, where your friend might be understandably butthurt or your, your enemy is that if the kind of game hunting they're into is like yard sales, you know, and thrift stores and stuff like that, that has gotten much more competitive on the like in the wild hunting side. So I, I try to be empathetic with people like that, you know, the more old, old school collectors who are butthurt that they can't roll up to a yard sale anymore and buy a lot of 50 NES games for 10 bucks when they used to be able to at almost every one 12 years ago. It's unfortunate to feel like your hobby is less accessible, you know, so I get it in that sense. But from an economic sense, more resellers will equal cheaper game prices because People are doing the work to find these copies of games that otherwise would not be accessible for public sale, whether it's through, you know, estate cleanouts or yard sales or what, like 12 years ago, like it or not, way more games I guarantee got thrown out because there weren't as many resellers around and it wasn't as commonly known that video games have value. Guaranteed tons of video games got thrown out. Still tons of video games get thrown out, but I think it's a lot less. One, because of resellers like pounding the pavement and trying to find them, but also just because of the internet, right? Freedom of information. It's an interesting thing. Like, and if I'm ever talking to people like that, which I rarely am because usually they don't, they don't want to talk to me. But one thing a lot of people don't realize is like in other hobbies, other collectibles, more developed collectibles, niches like sports cards, for example, there's much less resentment of resellers. Like there's more of, it's just kind of accepted. Like these are valuable things that we're dealing in and people love to collect them. And because that there's also a market for it. And the sellers of these products are not the bad guys. In fact, mo more often than not, if you make a, a friendship with your local reseller, they'll cut you good deals on stuff. Nine times out of 10, because it pays for them to have local collector connections and it pays to be able to move stuff for cash quick, you know, and people like giving deals to their friends. So anyway, I'll stop ranting on that. I'm sure we've got a bunch of thoughts in the comments on that topic. Ruining the hobby to everyone. So thanks for that. Yeah, you don't know much about Phoenix Resale. You're not a fan of Phoenix Resale. You you probably watched a few videos of his just to see if I'm in the... Well, we'll get to that soon. Also, uh, the Phoenix Reseller Discord has a paywall. Which he I wanted to ask you something, Void. How did you know that I paid to get inside the server? I never said in my Phoenix resale video that I did that. So how the hell did you know that? Like how? I don't tell. I didn't, I didn't tell nobody about this. Literally, I didn't say it in my videos. I looked back in the Phoenix resale video I did in MacBook Gaming. I never said anything like that. Is it possible that you also paid? Phoenix resale as well to get into the server to spy on me as well to see what I'm doing there or is it that you saw one of his videos where he showed a screenshot of MacBook gaming and that I, I got all these GameCube games for one dollar a piece which was true by the way I actually did found in a pawn shop you know a bunch of GameCube games for only a dollar and they actually sold it for that much so I didn't even negotiate there I just bought it nothing wrong with them it's not my fault that they priced their GameCube games for one dollar what is it boy come on tell me because, like, that's suspicious right there. Like, how the hell did you know that I paid to be in that server? So what if I did pay for, to be in the server? It's none of your business, honestly, what I pay for what Discord server I'm in. It's the only one I pay for. And I agree, yeah, I didn't agree with the whole payroll thing. I think that he should have left it free. But at the same time, he has a really big community. And if he left it free, there's going to be so much people going to his server and it's going to be out of his control. And he only wants like the true people, the people that are actually doing reselling as a business, people that wants to seek help from him, people that actually appreciate him, you know, a mature community. Not just like any like random people to come in. That's why he has a paywall. He could do that because of his fame. He's a very famous video game reseller and a YouTuber doing such things. Like he's very respected. You get the idea. I paid for it because, well, you know, I wanted to learn more about how people 
find games for resale and I wanted to show my success story to these people as well. I wasn't seeking Phoenix resale for, for Cloud either. I just, you know, admire the type of content creator he is and how I was inspired to do what he did so I could do my reselling side hustle as well. It's just a side hustle. I don't make enough money to live on, but saying that I'm broke either is far from the truth, honestly. Like, imagine paying for Discord server access. What comes to show that you didn't pay for it too just to spy on me? I don't know. I can't say for sure if that's the case, but... It could have been. Sheesh. I wouldn't be surprised. So. Because you're in my voice acting server and you're lurking there. What makes him believe that, oh, maybe that he paid on Phoenix Resale to spy also on his Foot Clan Discord server. And you're just lurking there. But you're paying the price. And you're not making nothing out of it except for seeing what I'm doing. Like, who's really wasting money here? If that's the case, of course. I don't know if, he, if it's actually true. But it wouldn't be far-fetched if that's true. What's he up to now, aside from his Mogby PNG channel? <laughs> oh, he has a... I um, mean, it's a PNG. Server. Why? I have no idea. Since his voice is, uh, to put it as nicely as I can, not good. You have your opinion. If you don't think my voice acting is not good, that's your opinion. It's all good. Not a lot of people is going to agree with me. But I met a bunch of people that love my Mario press. You're like, it's to me, Mario. Mamma mia! A lot of people surprisingly like my Mario voice acting and you know what? I got paid for some of them too. I got paid on Fiverr a few times to do Mario impressions. Sure, not a lot, but you know, I got paid something. So I guess, you know, some people find value in my voice. So, you know, that's your opinion, like I said. But whatever. It's not like I see him voicing anyone anytime soon. Well, I was voicing as Mario on Fiverr, so doesn't that count? I do, however, want to show you a few key things I see on the server that worries me as someone who knows Magbo and his impulses. Okay, tell me what it is because I just addressed it last video. First off, there's a rules list. And two rules here worry me. The first rule... Okay, what do, why do they worry you? Is must be 13 years or older to join. Well, yeah. I think almost every voice acting server doesn't promote NSFW. And that's a separate community from my actual friends corner. It's a completely different community that I have there. So, it's a general voice acting server. Like, anybody... A lot of teens are into voice acting. Adults are into voice acting. Adults help younger people to audition voice acting in my server. You know, people find value of it, I must say. As a person who has a thirst for minors, you should not be allowing minors. Thirst for minors. Can you prove that outside of the role plays, I'm actually trying to uh, like make people uncomfortable? Granted. Yes, when I talk to certain girls in certain ways and I don't realize it, yes, I made them uncomfortable sometimes. Not that I always mean to, but yeah, that's the thing, you know. People are very easily offended these days. It's very easy to make someone uncomfortable, like even something as innocent as what I, with Keefster's cousin. But, you know, I owned up to that too because, you know, I didn't mean to make her uncomfortable, but I made her uncomfortable. There's no denying that fact. That's an example right there. Let's see. Near you, Magbo, and yet you still allow them to come to you. Let's be fair here. Yes, there are minors in the server, in the voice acting server. But I also talk to adults there too. There are a lot of adults there as well. Matter of fact, look at this <coughs> screenshot. Yeah, there's a little bit more minors, but that's not because I'm seeking for them now. It's just that they just come Random people can come to my server in the voice acting server and it could be of any ages as long as it follows this course term of service. And it's not comp it's not really my fault that there are more minors than adults but there's plenty of adults here as well so you don't promote NSFW in this server. I don't have anything to hide so if you want to like look for it on the voice acting server that you're lurking in inside, go ahead. You're not going to find much at all if anything. Next rule is that he tells you to introduce yourself in the member's intro page, which, fine, whatever. 
Yeah. But listen to what he writes in parenthesis. Yeah, it's kind of out of sync because what it shows here around what she's talking about, he did show the screenshot at that moment. So yeah, my bad, Void. You know, I made a mistake there. So he did show the screenshot, but the thing is that the video is so out of sync right now is that I can't properly show it very well. So I apologize for that. Let me try to refresh this thing. See, when I know that I'm wrong about something now, I try to be transparent. Especially for stuff like this. Okay, he did show it here. Let me explain this real quick. Yes, yeah, so if I'm under... Yeah, they're under age. I am encouraged revealing users to know you're okay with it. I don't pressure them to say what it says. I guess the the main reason is because of what happened in the Red Star server is that they revealed they're underage and then some of the anti-noxers went in the server and get screenshots of it saying, oh, there's miners in the server because he's revealed the age and stuff like that. And then if you're underage, I do not encourage, I do not encourage it for their safety. That's the main intention of this comment right here. People hide their age for a reason. A lot of them is because, you know, they don't want any drama about, oh, you're a minor, I'm not going to talk to you, oh, you're this, or why you're so old and you're talking to me, or something like that. People like to ask for age. Sometimes I do ask for age for verification purposes. But, you know, when people ask age, usually you have to be careful with that because, like, I'm in an age group far beyond Gen Z. And unfortunately, in Discord today, most of the people using Discord is, are Gen Zers, people in that generation. And I can't control that. I could only make a server that's actually 18 plus, which I could do in another server, but voice acting server doesn't have to be 18 plus. And yes, I did said to Arbiter, I was not gonna do anymore, but what I meant to say is not in my personal server. The thing is later on I decided, okay, well, I, there's a lot of my friends that are still teenagers that are very close friends with me at the time. And I didn't want to leave them out. This is more of my personal friend sir, so I decided to change the rules a little bit. I could admit that. But that's pretty much why I decided to change back in that server. You guys already know this. If you're underage and he doesn't encourage oh, sorry. age unless they're okay with it. You shouldn't be allowing minors near you. And just in case you tell them to not reveal the ages as a safeguard for you. Yeah, using that because I did that with Ilalala one time. Man. So, uh, I'm still in this server. And, well, this server has a lot of minors currently. And Yeah, and also a lot of adults too. Not only that. And we're not doing anything illegal there. That he invites them to voice I know you cannot trust me with your right to your opinion because of what happened in the past but I'll stand firm right now and I know it's true I'm not role playing with any of these miners in that server chat with him so now I'm sure someone will ask what's so wrong with this well when he was red star shy guy he had three servers the red star actually I had four but yeah you are shy guy server that was public the Red Kirby yep. Hangout, which was private, and he would invite Technically you private, yeah. if he so chose. It, it was private. And the role-playing server he used to, well, you know. And also my Anime Night server, you kind of missed that. Yeah, I had an Anime Night server, and I'm pretty sure you know that, and you forgot that, so you made a mistake there. What if he's scouting these people just to invite them to some other server for his... That's not true, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not like, like contacting some person in a voice acting server that is this age and then sending them to a specific server to do a role play. I don't do that stuff with these people anymore. Sick pleasures. Do you not see how wrong this is considering what he has done in the past? And yeah, just because I've done it in the past doesn't mean I, I, I'm going to do the same thing over and over again and not learn from it. And even though you don't see that in person, but the fact that if you see that I have admitted to all that stuff it means that I'm being more transparent than I ever was before. So isn't isn't there a little bit change in my part um, compared to me hiding for the most part last year or most of this year, I guess? And has done little to nothing at all to get help mentally? You don't know that for sure. You don't know my personal life and you cannot just claim that I did 
nothing to change myself whatsoever. You don't know my personal life. You only know what's written in the text. So what's written in the text is one thing. And what happens to me in real life is another thing. And I know sometimes you're spying on me in real life, Void. Yeah. In case I didn't mention it. Yeah, Void actually spies on me in real life. And he actually says, oh, I'm in this convention. He was following me. And stuff like that. Yeah, he was following me in a convention back in June. I'm not sure if he followed me in Walmart when I got my pants when he says it. Dude, stalking is illegal. But I don't know how you're stalking and stuff. Or if it's that uh, maybe I said that I was buying pants. I don't remember saying it. But there's stuff I don't remember recalling. You're just eavesdropping on all the personal conversation I have with, with my personal friends. And that's not right, honestly. Not just that, I want to show one last thing. A quote, our friend Magbo, at the time, Red Hat Curbs, said to Meta-chan, which distort, disturbed me Why? to the core. Okay. He said, if I did not have self-control. Okay, let me explain that here. If I did not have self-control. So if I was someone with problems like... You know, I would do something I wouldn't do. Like if you take a lot of drugs, right? Or you smoke cigarettes and stuff like that. Your mind doesn't function very well after you get drunk, for example. If you're taking alcohol or something like that. And then you do stuff that you really do not actually do when you're actually normal, right? So that self-control that I told you in the last video. It's that self-control that I wouldn't go as far as I said to do those horrible things outside of a role play to anybody. That I would not harm anybody. If I did harm people mentally in the role play, I never meant for that to happen. And I feel bad for what I did, you know, there's no excusing it. And I wish the best for all of my victims. But if I didn't have self-control, I would have done what they did. Yeah, I did say that, but have I done all that stuff? Do you have proof that I done all these desires in real life and all that stuff? If it's the real life that, oh, okay, I'm taking pictures of cosplayers and I never, I don't act their age often like I said before. Maybe that seems bad, but there's no evidence whatsoever that I'm doing that in real life and I'm intending to be evil and I want to have my way. I'm not that type of person. I never will be. I despise these type of people. I, these, these type of people disgust me and they need to be put to their place. But me? I haven't done any of that horrible stuff that you guys are thinking about. You guys are saying that because you think that these role plays are going to get me to be doing these type of things. And I'll tell you right now, that's never going to happen. Even if there's like a, a girl in front of me, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't even dare to do that to her. Because God is watching me and I know that. And whatever happens, you know, God's watching even more than Void Shy Guy. Void Shy Guy's not watching as much as God. I gotta set a good example. But you know, I know that there's other stuff I hide that God knows. And I'm trying to fix that little by little. It's not something that I appreciate people trying to spread out to the whole world because especially in the DMs that was not meant to be public but in private. But there's reason people do that I guess. Troll, I would have done all the things all actual predators have done. And not have yeah, I don't condone any of the action the other predators done because what the other predators done Commonly, they, they send nudes to minors. They send uh, explicit stuff that are, you know, NSFW completely. They even uh, go and meet them and stuff like that. And they think that I'm hiding that too. But Control. you'll never find Control. evidence my of me doing that. My desires get the best of me. But I have my limits. Especially with minors. Like, are you serious with this? And you still allow minors? Yeah, because I'm stating the point that I have that self-control to not do these stuff. That's basically what I'm saying in that message. Around you and actively look for them like with Ilala, he is messed up. And the fact he is allowed to roam free and his parents and friends do nothing about it is messed up even more. I'm not going to get to my family and friends and stuff whatsoever. But there is a reason why these people are still with me today. That's all I'm going to say. Because they know the real me, the real intentions and stuff like that. I'm not that type of person in real life. You get the idea. He then goes to church and looks at God straight in the eye like he is a saint. You're kind of making that up right now, honestly. 
yeah, I do pray to God in church, and, and yeah, I do pray to God here too at home. But you don't know what I'm praying. You, you can just make assumptions. You can make predictions, but you don't know what what's really going on. So I'm I'm not gonna share that information with you. In conclusion, I can't force anyone to not see his content. True. I'm just a messenger, and whether you heed the message or not is ultimately up to you. If this video isn't proven enough, just search up videos about Dinox or Magbo from other YouTubers like The Arbiter, Agent Ness Holocord, Blue Kirby, among other people. Look for them, sub to them, they make way better content than Magbo and are way better people. Okay, first of all, way better content. I mean, I'm not gonna brag about how good my content is or anything like that because that's opinionated. If you think my content is good, or if you think I edit the video, that's your opinion. If you think my editing is bad, that's fine. If you think those other YouTubers are better, that's fine. You know, I'm not gonna brag about that. But the fact that these people edit good, they, they edit video good, I don't know, man. I mean, I'll give you this Void. Void can actually edit a video very good. Arbiter puts some effort in editing a video as well. But Blue Kirby? Not so much. Agent Ness? He just streams to talk about, you know, drama and stuff. Keister? <laughs> Don't get me started with Keister. At least, at least he's doing a little bit better, but he still could do much better in the editing. He could definitely, if he wanted to, learn how to edit himself as well. Or hire an actual good editor. I used to edit his video too, by the way. So, yeah. That's my opinions, of course. And Bartman Homer? Nope. He doesn't edit at all. He just records on his phone and it brings it up. That's what I think about Bartman Homer. Jacob? Stupid videos for real. He only edits. Like, he doesn't... <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not going to compare it with my content, but... That's how I feel about their editing skills. Boy and Arbor puts way more effort, I'm going to be honest with you, with than most of these people out there. Even the Dreaming Jester puts more effort. Than Asian Ness. So I'm just putting it out there. Because Asian Ness for example. He's just in front of a mic. He records himself. And he puts like a picture there. And that's all he does. It's just on um, the content. is just within what he's talking about. Yeah Blue Curry's just talking a lot of trash. About my character and everything. And saying that I'm a danger and all that stuff. Well you know I already said a little bit more about Blue Kirby in the other video. I'm not going to get too much into it. Arbiter. He has a lot of skeletons in his room as well. He has a lot of things to hide. He has, he's not a very good person in general. Like, I don't know how he treats you guys because, you know, you had a con go with me. You know, he's not a good person. And I showed proof of it in the other video dedicated to Arbiter. That's all I have to say about that. Well, that he ever hopes to ever be. Uh, remember this was a brief and rushed explanation of his wrongdoings because Trust me, he has done much, much. I'm not going to hide nothing anymore of what I did in the past. So if you want to show off all the screenshots of what I said about you guys and the crap you talk about, as long as you don't involve family member into this, I don't care, honestly. But if you involve my family into this, I will be taking your video down. I'm serious about that. I don't know how YouTube's going to respond to it or anything. I can't control it. But something's going to be done with you if you dare. That's all I'm gonna say. More. As a, as a side note, I'm still working on the more edited video. Oh yeah, that's what I was I talking about now. Much more time. I wonder how much more time will this video that I'm gonna take my time editing and everything come out before your videos? That's the only time will tell, actually. But will come out. I promise to do a deep dive into Puerto Rican Christian. And the reason why they call me Puerto Rican Christian is because like of the history I have of me you know being desperate of having a girlfriend and I won't deny that I do want to have a girlfriend while in the past most of the past I've been like really thirsty for, for girls because like I never really had too much of an opportunity to meet the girls in my younger years that I really liked like I was always in a private school and I never really got to meet the girls that I really wanting my classes or anything like that I didn't really grow up with most of them and stuff like that that I was really interested in 
And when I got to high school, I was super shy. I didn't talk too much of the girls because, like, they're not, they're a lot different from me. So that was my history behind that. And then when I finally started meeting girls in college, like, I got along with some of them. And sometimes, like, I'm hoping that maybe we could go somewhere with it. Not like I was trying to creep out on any of these girls or anything like that, but I'm getting older and I do worry naturally because, you know, I want a partner because if you have a partner in your life, you support each other and it's much more healthier for your social life and your spiritual men. Sure, you could actually have a good life living on your own as well. And now I'm like, if I get married or if I get a girlfriend, cool, but if I don't these days, I'm just glad to at least make some good friends and stuff. Yeah, granted, I still want a girlfriend today, but it's not going to be a minor, that's for sure. I want her in her 20s or her 30s. Sure, she could be more than 10 years younger than me. She could be 18 to 25. She could be a little older than that. As long as, you know, we have things we have in common and stuff like that, eventually, that's what I'm looking for. I don't want to have a minor as a girlfriend because there's a lot of problems and issues going along that. A lot that they have to change and their mind is not, they're not stable. You know, they're very unstable. Sometimes they think of one thing and then they think of another. So they're still developing. That's my testimony on that whole thing. You can believe it or not, I don't mind at all. But you have the right to believe whatever you want. But that's what I believe in myself. I plan to come for you. We're almost done with this video, by the way. And to Magbo, since you're already watching our content, you're right. You I am watching. With Arbiter. Nope, I'm not gonna do a podcast with Arbiter or you or anything like that, because you're gonna take full advantage of that podcast, and you're going to everything that I say. You're gonna twist it to the point that oh, I'm a bad person, all that stuff. That's why I'm doing these videos because I could have time to think of what to say. If I have to edit anything else that I said, I prefer doing that. So the things that I have to say that are true and does not incriminate myself and doesn't say more against the others, the better. Because sometimes I have a, a problem with saying more than I should say. I'm still working on it, but I do have that problem sometimes. And when I'm nervous against people that I don't like and people that I know that they're going to use things against me and they're going to win, why should I fight a losing battle? Sure, you could call me a coward or anything like that. But when I make this video, you guys are going to watch it. You guys are going to commentate it. I'm going to unblock all you guys. Uh, you guys can leave me comments now for the time being. But if it gets out of hand, you will be blocked again. So, you know, be mature. Construction criticism, I prefer, over you just uh, saying, oh, pedal, 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 your pedal, you, you go to jail forever. No, I'm clear with that. If it's something that's made to improve someone, cool. But if it's made to harass someone and say that I'm done for and all that stuff, that doesn't help me whatsoever. It doesn't help anybody else that's trying to recover from their mental health. So you get the idea. Since you claim you have done nothing wrong. No, I have done wrong. I admit that. And there's a lot of wrongs I did too. But you know what? You guys have done a lot of wrong too. And I'm calling you out for it. Because... This is what is called a fair justice. We see both sides of the story. This is why I play Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright. They go in detail in every little thing that happens and they try to find the truth in every little detail. Because you can't just go one-sided because this whole anti noxers thing this whole time, it was one-sided. Everything was against me, nothing was for me. Except for Nagofar. But they roasted him too and you know we had to just like get away from them because it's not good for our mental health. There's no point in arguing with them. I ignore you for a reason because we don't tolerate bullies. We don't tolerate haters online or anything. And I decided to come up because I feel like I had to do it. I didn't do it for you guys completely. I didn't do it to please you guys. I did it so I could be more transparent, be more truthful because Arbiter did say that I should let it all out, be more honest, and well, thinking and critically thinking for months and months, he's not completely false on that. So that's one thing I, I I'll give him that. But you know, do I think I'm gonna be friends with Arbiter or Voice Shy Guy? No, that's never gonna happen, honestly. But I just wish that we could all move on from this after this. That's all I'm gonna say. And if you guys don't move on, I will move on, because I'm not playing your little games anymore. 
the more you run, the more guilty you look. Just do remember the quote. And with that, I this is over an hour video now. as well. Take care and uh, I don't know. Watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. To be honest, I'm not a fan of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm not really the art style doesn't really appeal to me. I know a lot of people like it, but I'm not gonna watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. If you guys want to watch it, that's good on you. I hope you enjoy the show. Anyways, my final thoughts on this video. Yeah, see that I admitted to some of the things. If he says something that's true, I'm not going to deny it. I'm going to say it's true. But if he's lying and there's no proven evidence to go against it, then I'm going to prove that you're lying. That's fair justice right there. It's not going to go just one way that I'm the one getting all the flack and stuff and then you guys go scot-free getting away with all the crap you did to me and my friends. No, I didn't want to make all these videos against you. I just wanted to move on. But you guys said I couldn't move on because I traumatized these people. But let me just say one thing I talked to my therapist about. That there is a way to overcome trauma. It's very hard. It's something that stays with you. and But you can overcome trauma. You could get redemption. God is very forgiving if you are serious and changing. And the same with all you guys. You know, I hope that... Instead of you trying to like pick the clips that I said bad things about myself and then put it on a, another YouTube video and edit, think about what I said too and try to own up to your mistakes if you have done any as well because you have done a lot of false claims on me as well. You gotta own up for all your mistakes, Arbiter, Void, all the anti noxers because I already did myself. And if I miss any parts, like I said, and if I'm forgetful, just point it out and I'll at least say my side in some way capacity. But this has been Dinox saying I encourage you to watch the main video which is me owning up to all this thing and me saying all the things I did wrong and uh, why I think it was wrong and all that stuff. Because that's where the real message is going to come in and what's going to happen going forward. This is just a commentary video. So until next time, take care, God bless, stay cool, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.